So here is my process video for my first baggie book. Um, on the top, the cover, I placed the um, one of my jelly plates prints, and I'm just showing you the inside real quick of the book. Then I decided to, I had to put the other half of the cover on, and I had another jelly plate that was almost identical to the one I used on the front, so I decided to go ahead and use that print. I am placing it down with my Mod Podge and I'm using the hole punch to make the little holes for where the the handle goes so that the paper doesn't rip and I'm adhering all of that down with the Mod Podge as well. You know I love Mod Podge and I'm just making sure that I'm tucking it in in the inside because it you know it's another pocket inside there and and I like pockets so so now I'm going to go ahead and do this inside first page and I was checking out that jelly print but I decided not to go ahead and use that so now I'm pulling out a bunch of envelopes that I used the jelly plate on and um, just trying to figure out which one I wanted to use here now, if you look at this, you would think that this would be the perfect one, right? <laughs> because it's pink and the, the other color is pink, but no, no, no. <laughs> For whatever reason, I went with this one. I don't know. I think I like the numbers on it, and I don't mind that it's a different color. So I went ahead and put down some more of the Mod Podge, and I'm just adhering that on there nice and tight. Um, I do want to use it as a pocket. So I'm just making sure that it is not adhered down up top there. So now this page, I decided to use uh, some wipe off pages from a book that I had in my stash. Um, and you can see the one edge is the straight edge and the other edge is where it's like ragged. It's where I tore it out of the book. So I put the ragged edges in the middle and there's a little spot in the middle where the white shows but I am fine with that and I'm just showing you that I'm actually putting it to where you know the, the words are the right way up you know that they're not upside down uh, not that I really think that that matters but um, that's what I did and I'm just making sure it's all down nice and tight with the Mod Podge so then what I was going to do is you can see I grabbed my scissors there. I was going to cut that off, but then I decided to go ahead and Mod Podge it over. You know, um, so this way there's like no raw edge. And you can see right there I, I you know, brought it over onto the next page. Now uh, for the next couple pages, so those two pieces right there, well, these right here are receipts. One is from Michaels and one is from Target. The other two um, pieces were just in my stash. And I'm showing you the couple pockets on this page, so I want to make sure I don't put anything over those. I'm telling you, these receipts, the size of them are perfect. They're good for the flowers that I make um, and, and for things like this. So I'm going to go ahead and place that receipt on there and the other right here again leaving the pockets so I can get into them and bending it over and adhering it in um, you know so that it looks nice and neat and I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess and then that other little white flap right there I decided to just go ahead and use some of my distress paint so I have three different colors I have the pink um, which is picked raspberry, the green, which is mowed lawn, and the yellowish oranges, which is wild honey. And I know that that page is extremely colorful, but it will um, tone down a bit once I go ahead and do everything. So here I'm showing you this little pocket right now. If I put something in there, it's going to go right through. So I have to fix that and I decided to take a, you know, one of the scraps from the receipt and go ahead and adhere that on there. So that's all fixed. Um, how I fixed it, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and place my glossy accents there and adhere it on. 
and then this way when I go ahead and put something in there. Now it doesn't go all the way through. So that worked, that was easy, and I got to use up that little piece of scrap. So I always like doing that, right? Because we don't like to throw anything away. <laughs> so now these are the last two pages, and I'm showing you I have a couple more pockets there and a pocket on the side. So I just, again, want to make sure that I don't lose those. And I decided to do Dilution Spray in Bubblegum Pink and Cherry Pie and squeezed orange. So um, I'm just spraying a ton of it on here and I learned this from Diane Reevely. You know what, don't be afraid to spray um, puddles onto what you're working on. And what she also did was, I'm gonna spray with water right now. Um, that's something that she taught us as well. Now, this is not watercolor paper, it's not mixed media paper, it's a bag. So this did not turn out the way I expected, but that was okay. I went ahead and just kind of wiped up the, um, the little puddles and dried it off. And then I decided to use this um, stencil. This is one of Diane's new stencils, and I've used it a few times, you can see there. And this is that new, well, this is uh, the Dina Wakely um, paint, and that little um, foam thing, um, I just did a video on how to do that, and thank you again, Gina, for that awesome idea. And so I'm just taking some of the paint on this dauber, and putting it down and you can see that finish behind there all those nice little dots and now I'm going to use this other stencil with the stars with white dilutions and the whole trick Diane said if you spray the dilutions and it is not fairly opaque it just means that you didn't shake the bottle enough so you know just give it a really really good shake and um, and you can see here, I am spraying it on top of some pretty vibrant colors, and it's looking pretty good. Um, the intent is not for it to be totally opaque, so, um, you know, I, I like the way it came out. Now I'm going to use a stamp by Dina Wakely, and this this was one of those things I bought last weekend when, when I was at the class with, um, with Diane uh, in Pennsylvania. And this was a stamp where, you know, I had it in my hand, I put it down. I had it in my hand, I put it down. Last minute of the second day that I was there, I'm, I just went and grabbed it. And I'm so glad that I did. I love this. Love, love, love this stamp set. And I happen to have a parrot, so um, I love birds anyway. But I went ahead and used my stays on. And you can see that particular stamp, his little head didn't come out. So I had to put it back on there, which always makes me nervous, right? And press down again, and then it was fine. So I'm just going to show you here. You can see all the different layers of all the different colors. You can see the yellow dots from the big stencil, and then the white stars from the smaller stencil, and of course the awesome, awesome little birds. So okay, now so that was my process, and I just want to show you the finished product. I went ahead and added these three flowers to the top. Um, you can check out how they are made on Shannon Green's YouTube channel. Um, easy, easy peasy, and I just love them. Um, I did put some rhinestones in the middle, and I went ahead on the top two flowers, and I added some of this Sparkle Mod Podge, which I used on the cover of the whole baggie book as well. <clears throat> so the way I did it was it works like this. And I made a lot of pockets. So this is my fir first page, and this is an envelope. And I put the card in here. I'm actually doing a challenge with Junk Journal Junkies. It's a seven day challenge where you have to journal seven days in a row and it started yesterday. So that's my first pocket. Then I went ahead and used an iCAD. So this 
um, is the second page where I had those dark pages on here and I adhered it on three sides and I have the pocket right here and this is another iCAD that I did this year and this is day two which happens to be today then this is the third page and <clears throat> excuse me this was a jelly plate print and I also made a pocket out of this and I will journal there the next pocket is here and I'll journal on this side and then the little pocket I have down here I put in a little card right there to journal another day then on this page now what do you see wrong on this page yes the birds are upside down <laughs> I guess I didn't think it all the way through when I was stamping. But anyways, I love it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so this particular journal page, I have the um, the uh, another iCAD. And this was actually my iCAD number two. I did all 60 days this year, 61 days. And this was my second iCAD. But I'm going to go ahead and cover that up. And I will journal on here for the challenge. I like the way that that looked with the colors on this page. By the way, this is my favorite page. It's upside down, but it's still my favorite page. Love the colors. Um, and then this was the seventh pocket that I'm going to use. And right now I have these two cards in here. And I don't know which I want to use yet. Um, and that's it. So that is... Oops. That is my baggy book and Martina. Oh, my little flower's bending. So thank you so much for this awesome, awesome, awesome idea. I had a ball with it. And um, I really highly suggest if you know you haven't seen Martina's video to, to head on over there. I'll put her name below and go check out her video. And I just love it and I'm using it. So I like that too that I'm actually using it. Um, and so I'll be documenting, you know, a little bit about my life at this point in time right now. And I love that. I'd like to do that. So anyway, thank you so much. And if you have any questions, let me know. Bye-bye.